Hi YouTube family, it's your girl Love Kisses 99 and I'm coming to you today, forgive me for laughing, I'm coming to you today with something a little bit different than what I normally bring you like hair videos, different things like that. But I just want to say that I am also a victim of drinking the Kool-Aid, what I see here on YouTube. So. I normally go and get my lady parts, you know, I have to get them, get it waxed. We're just going to keep it real. We're going to keep it funky, keep it 100. So normally I do go to a waxing place and get, you know, everything all waxed. Now the hair on my legs doesn't really grow much, so I don't really have to do that. I kind of just shave my legs like every two or three months because the hair on my legs doesn't grow. So I was looking around on YouTube. I said, oh, I don't feel like going, you know, to the waxing location. I just want to see if I could find somewhere or some way that it's cheaper to just, to, to just do some hair removal at home. So again, I say I was looking around on YouTube for videos. Quite a few videos came up of this product here called Nair Shower Power. Where you can apply it and where's my little sponge there was another a little sponge that came with it i don't even really know what i did with it right now but it came with a sponge and as part of the directions it just says read the warning section before use i rarely do that and i know that's not a good idea but it says apply cream outside of shower skin must be dry before application it says unplug pump and turn counterclockwise to dispense cream onto smooth side of the dry sponge. Apply an even thick layer to cover the hair. Do not rub in. Repeat until the entire area where hair is to be removed is covered. Wait at least one minute before showering. Then it says shower following your usual routine for optimum performance keep skin where cream has been applied away from direct stream of water a small amount of wash off is not unusual leave cream on your skin for at least an additional three minutes and in bold it says do not exceed 10 minutes <clears throat> it says do not exceed 10 minutes of total application time remove a rinse Total hair removal time depends on hair thickness. Using the bumpy side of rinse sponge. Test the small area. <laughs> if hair comes off easily, continue removing by massaging in a circular motion. If hair does not come off, leave cream on longer without exceeding 10 minutes. Um, 10 minutes of total application time and rinse skim thoroughly. Do not rub. Pat dry gently. Rinse the sponge and replace the plug. So yeah, this is the little plug right here. So just kind of close that back up. So I'm bringing this to you because I did see a lot of great reviews on it, great ways. And it does say um, it has sunflower seed oil and it says for legs and body. But you know, there are always those of us that got to take it to the next level and feel like we can do more <laughs> with the product than we should. Yeah, a couple of videos I saw on YouTube, I was like, no, let me go ahead, let me try it because people are getting good results with it. Needless to say, I'm here to tell you, don't do it. Because I followed the directions to the letter, but I was smart enough to just put the hair remover on one very small area. But needless to say, right now, that area is struggling. So yeah this stuff i mean this is the sensitive formula and if what it did to me in a sensitive formula i would hope to god there is not an extra strength or a something for coarse or you know thick hair my hair is not thick it's thin just like the hair that grows on my head is not much different but yeah i tried this and maybe it works for a lot of people but I would say just go on to the waxing place and let them do it. And 
I usually have great results with it. That's how I've been doing it for the last few years and I haven't had a problem. One application of this and it did really give me a problem. So I'm just saying be careful. I always say this anyway. Be careful with the results you see other people get here on white tea on social media because everything doesn't work for everybody. And for me, this little baby right here is going right in the trash because I have absolutely no use for it. Even the hair under my arms, I could shave under my arms once every three or four months and be just fine. The hair, the hair just doesn't grow. But I figured with the little hair I do have, let me try this on my lady parts. Never again. So, again, I guess it's just a testament to say not everybody's going to get the same results and be careful what you see and what you follow on social media because for me this was not the business not at all and i'm just grateful that i did put it on just a small area and didn't just slather it on all over because yeah i probably wouldn't be sitting still right now so just you know just a word of caution a word of warning and when these products have a little warning on the back make sure that you read the warning before you do anything. Again, for some people it works, but be careful with this kind of stuff because your lady parts deserve better. Just my little PSA, I guess. So I just wanted to come through, tell you be careful what you watch on YouTube, be careful what you follow, because everything doesn't work for everybody. And this was a product, works great for others, but did not work for me at all. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get off camera, going to put together a little ice pack and soothe my lady parts and <laughs> I will see you guys again soon. Bye.